hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to Nene's diary if you are new here thank you so much for tuning in and also please subscribe um so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys five things like five things like five amazing things i learned from banter with angels wedding and also wedding in general and yeah guys i bet this is the kind of video you like to watch if you are interested in this kind of video please sit back relax and i'll be right back <laughs> yeah okay guys um yeah i'm starting off by by listing five things i learned from this fairy tale wedding that is banter with angels wedding um i think number one to me is very very important number one to me is very very important and if you don't have this number one i'm so sorry like your wedding might not go the way you plan or otherwise but um, that number one is very very important to me especially to the bride is very very important and which is um having your close family and friends around you when i mean having your close family and friends around you like you know the way you are planning a wedding you get to be stressed you get to be like a lot of things is going on in your life at that period you're planning a wedding so um your family and friends are very very important to you at that point in time they're very very important i remember during banter with angels by that shower so that particular evening she was not in the right frame of mind she was somehow moody and the rest of it but we as the family members and some of her close friends were around so we were trying to like we shared her up that's in terms of having your family and friends around you for them like that the people to share you up to talk to you to put smile on your face again so on that particular evening like we try as much as we can as family members and her close friends as well like we are busting some moves that evening like we are doing a lot of things dancing and yeah been yeah we try to talk her out from that mood that she was and in my family we are very hyper like we are hype people we can hype you that you will forget that you are even moody at that particular time so that's the essence of having your close family and friends around you as a bride planning her wedding or going or maybe during the wedding or after the wedding so during that period everybody was dancing doing some funny funny moves and all like at the time angel she's now busted into laughs like she started laughing like she started laughing so like that's what i meant by having your close family and friends they know how to talk you out of that mood that you are we as the bride we tend to get emotional on our big day and every little things upsets us like like people from like me that cries a lot your close family and friends are very very important on your big day so secondly is um um how do i put it now okay number two like the second point here is um like being confident in what you are putting on like when it comes like this boils down to the choice of dresses you are picking the kind of material you want as they said once a bride likes what she's putting on she tends to be confident in herself especially when they call her out to come and show us her husband and the rest of it the bride like the way she saw her moving and the rest of it you know that she's very very confident in what she's wearing so whenever you're planning your wedding always go for what you want always go for the best material you like the colors you like don't let your friends or maybe people talk you otherwise from picking what they actually want go for what you in particular you want like what you are your husband like what you feel so comfortable with so and you can see that day on angel's wedding she was looking so beautiful her material she's wairuka on instagram i'm going to leave her link in the description box so and the person like the person that made that perfect dress because that has dressed so perfect angel was looking so snatched and all she was looking so radiant like she was looking all shades of beauty was all over her that day her name is avenger underscore underscore on instagram she's the nigerian designer that made that perfect dress for her they can see nj had figure eight on her <laughs> nj she had figure eight that day on her wedding day so always go for the best like for what you want don't let people talk you into picking what they actually want always go for the colors like so that like always go for what you want so that on that your big day you don't have to worry about is my cleavage showing is my legs showing is the other one showing or am i like how am i on this dress and the rest of it always go for what you want so number two is confidence like always be confident in what you are putting on so um yeah number three is having an amazing makeup that's the third point your makeup like your makeup is your number three on my do list like on my list so whenever you're planning your wedding always, always go for what you like always like whenever you're planning your wedding eh? 
always beat your just hire a very good makeup artist to beat your face to perfection that's one thing i learned again and also on the other wedding i've been going to like always go for the best if you're a makeup artist or if you know how to do your makeup by yourself always do your makeup because i can remember i'm 2015 when the my cousin did her own wedding she did her web makeup by herself she beat her face to perfection and if you see the way she was laying that day you know that she's feeling so fly she's feeling so radiant with her makeup and the rest of her attire that particular day so oh uh, yeah that's another point you have to put into consideration when planning a wedding as a bride always go for a very good makeup artist i know that there are some brides like i'm not saying that it's a must but i know that there are some brides that don't do makeup on their wedding day maybe because of their belief or maybe because of their shot they're going to there are some bride that doesn't do their makeup but for me personally for me chinanyaha on my wedding you know, i'm going to like god god knows now i'm going to hire a very good makeup artist that's going to beat my face to perfection because this is one thing i'm doing once in a lifetime so i need to look good on my wedding day so always go for something you really like always hire a very good makeup artist to do your makeup on that day for you and yeah don't allow them to overdo your makeup oh, but just go for something that you really like that's number three on my to-do list so the fourth point on my list is um comfortable shoes always go for comfortable shoes as a bride as a bride always go for comfortable shoes if you are the bride that likes maybe block heels or pointed heels always go for inches that are very perfect for you on your big day do not go and climb 20 inches then that you'll be disgracing yourself that day always go for comfortable shoes and yeah you can see um a lot of brides because of the kind of shoes they are wearing they won't even have to dance so much that day you know like i can like i realize a lot of things from the wedding i've been to even on nj's wedding nj that does, does not even dance like imagine nj i was so amazed with the way nj was dancing that particular day although she later changed into a flat slippers like because that what she feels comfortable on she has to change nj dance throughout the day nj dance till 8 pm i was so amazed that day so that's another thing i learned about a bride like, it's your wedding day you can buy your heel shoes but always consider buying flat sandals or flat slippers that you feel comfortable or comfortable on because when you dance so well people will dip down have their hands down into their pocket and spray you money so always dance on your wedding day go for comfortable shoes or for comfortable sandals that are matching your attire on that particular day it's like you always go for something comfortable on your wedding day so the fifth point which is the fifth and the final point i'm going to be listing down here today is always go for trustworthy vendors yes trustworthy vendors because they are the key part of your wedding i could remember a time like i went for a wedding and the cake vendor didn't deliver her cake until 7 p.m reason being that when they were coming their car broke down on the way so so blah 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 story that she, she was saying and that's not good for to disappoint the bride on their wedding day so always go for trustworthy vendors preferers are so good when it comes to planning it planning things so always go for people that you have seen their referrals heard about them and the rest of it so always go for trustworthy vendors for your cake for your decor if those two could disappoint or your wedding is doomed so always go for your trustworthy vendors or if you feel that you can't handle it alone you can also call go for event planners and during angels wedding we didn't even call any event planner we did everything by ourselves everybody has their own roles to play on her wedding the guys they have their own roles we the girls we have our own roles nj had what she's handling our dad father like our dad even has his own parts to handle on that wedding even the husband so at least like the roles we are being shared among us so everybody like it's something we all came together to plan and it came out very nice so we don't need to involve a wedding planner if you don't have it but if you have the money and you felt and you feel overwhelmed planning a wedding you can't handle planning a wedding you can go for the event planner but we if you didn't do that so whenever you are planning a wedding as a bride please just put these five five things i listed here into consideration it will be of your own good it will be of your own benefit because you know guys you don't have a lot to do like guys you don't have a lot to do it's only on the bride side so always go for something you feel comfortable with your makeup your clothes your shoes anything you feel comfortable with and also your vendors are very very important and yeah guys i think i've come to the end of this video and if you really enjoy watching this video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel subscribe to this wonderful channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye